Um, so it's really one of the reasons why I got this big ass Tahoe. I only have two kids, so it's not like I needed this for kids. Number one, it looks bad. But number two, if I want to get jiggy with it in that two or three hours, I ain't got time to be going to someone's house, taking my sweet time there, and then going all the way back to mine. I ain't got time for that. I got time for a few drinks and some wiener. So that's why I got the oh, no. Lose it. Still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like... <laughs> no way. Think pink? It's the ribbon. <laughs> this is how they do breast cancer now. Just let it all hang out. You know, there used to be a time in life where people would just walk and do a benefit. Just go for a five-mile walk. <laughs> Could you imagine being someone's mom? Their mom's going, that's my daughter in the back row. Look at her. Yeah, I taught her how to back it up and dump it, you know. <laughs> all right, boys. It's go time. Buckle up. Let's see what kind of malarkey we've got today. On today's episode of Men Pay Me To, you know I have one of those accounts, right? You know what I'm talking about? Men literally pay me to eat. They pay to watch me eat. <laughs> God, I want to throw something. You know, there used to be a time in the world where men would actually pay women to eat their dick, gobble their cock. And now they just pay to watch it happen with food. <laughs> and guys, remember what I always tell you? See the nose ring? Yeah? Throat tattoos? Just saying. Telltale sign. Alexa. Remind me that I don't need a man. I don't know if any of you guys have an Alexa or a Siri, but I've never used either one of them. You think I'd trust either one of those broads sneaking around my house at night, listening to everything I'm saying? Yeah. No. Think I'm going to trust regular women? <laughs> you know, trust regular women's hard enough. Try, try, trust in a robot, bitch. <laughs> Come on. All right, this lady, I can't play what she's, uh, the music here, but it goes, to the 39,000 men that pay me 20 bucks a month to look at me. Wow. And here I'm thinking women are the issue. But we got these dudes out here pulling this bullshit. Like, guys, you know what? This is good, though. That's why you're here, okay? The more we help each other, the better the world will be. This is it's unreal. Looks like she uh, doesn't need a man. She needs 39,000 of them. She needs 39,000 men, not just one. Unreal. I want a ninja kicker. Good morning. Here is your daily reminder to find yourself a pay pig. And ladies, remember, if he won't pay for your hair, your nails, your <sighs> meals, whatever, there is a cuck in your DMs that will. Follow me to figure out how to find them. <laughs> There's this problem nowadays where... If you <laughs> it's like, who's paying that woman? This is sad. And we're going to get into who's actually paying these women right now you don't have any experience you can't get a job and if you don't have a job you can't get any experience so i went on a first date with this girl and we were getting along and then she asked me hey what's your past relationship experience like i was being very honest and i told her i've never had a girlfriend before in my life and then she laughs a little and then she tells me like hey you know even my 11 year old cousin has had two girlfriends already <sighs> at this point anyways when we get home, I message her, uh, hey, I had a good time. I'd love to see you again. And she never responds. And then I take a quick look at her Hinge profile and I see that she's updated one of her prompts. My most irrational fear is being someone's first girlfriend. <laughs> Dear Lord. Please, please, please help all my brothers out here. <laughs> the worst part is, now, dude, it, 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 this is how far things have gone. Um, and this is all going to make sense in just a moment. But you see, this guy's not a bad looking dude. 
Okay, he looks kind of tall. I can't really tell, but like he could grow his hair out, go full Luke Kane on him, just straight Bruce Leroy, just get shredded. You know what I mean? Like I don't care, dude. Carry some nunchucks around with you. I don't give a shit. Girls out there be going, look at that guy's got nunchucks on him. They don't even know what they're called. They're like, what are those? Put up, get a man bun, chopsticks in the man bun, whatever. All right, that's kind of the level we have to get to nowadays. You don't fuck. Fuck being rich, all right? You just got to be, like, cold-blooded nowadays. Like, the most kind-hearted, cold-blooded man ever. That's that's how we got to be out here. But this, he's wondering why he can't get a woman. But a lot of these guys like this is going to make sense. It's going to end up paying for these type of women right here. What are people like me supposed to do? Wow. Were there relationship oh. internships I was supposed to apply for or something? Oh, that's a good one. Hey. So I've seen a few other TikTokers posting videos like this, so I'm gonna do my little series. Yeah. So you know I have one of those other pages, right? One of those other pages? Yeah, well, Slut. men literally pay me to clean my house and wear this, and they pay really good. Yeah, and guess what? Guys just like that gentleman we just watched end up paying for women like this, and not even to actually have sex with them. Like, I could actually respect if you went out and paid for some sexual favors. But, dude, it's gotten to the point where you're paying for this shit online. You ain't even getting nothing out of it. it, it it's... No, this is good. If you're here and you're new to this type of content, welcome. Welcome, brother. All right? We're going to get you up and running. Okay? All right? I mean, I'm going to clean my house anyway, so why not record and get paid for it? On today's episode of oh, Men back. Pay Me Too, you know I have one of those accounts, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Men literally pay to see my armpits. <laughs> oh, okay. So how that chick had all the nose rings and the throat tats and everything. So this chick commented, right? If you're new here, I like to read your guys' comments. Um, I can't get to all of them because I have so many. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate all of your guys' comments. But this one's from a woman who looks like she has pink hair, and she says, I've been watching your videos for the last couple of weeks. I'm out here trying to break the stigma of having tattoos and colored hair. I've been with my husband for nine years, and I'm 27 years old. We've been together since high school. Wow, congratulations, you're an anomaly. My complete, uh, uh, my complete opposite, which I love that we're so different. Yeah, it's called yin and yang, okay? Yang is the men, and yin is the woman. You're supposed to complement each other opposites tracked that don't mean skin color um sorry just in case you guys didn't know which i love that we're so different we built a life together bought a home together etc not alter not all alternative women are crazy well it's not that we're not saying you're all crazy we're not saying that apparently there's exceptions to the rules out here but guys just be super careful out here okay saran wrap that shit at all costs and uh, my personal opinion, I'd stay away from them unless you are a blue hair bandit yourself and you rock leather jackets and bowl rings in your nose. Then, you know, it's probably your type. But thank you for uh, chiming in. I appreciate your comment on that. I don't need no man. Oh, God. Say it again. I don't need no man. Say it louder and like you fucking mean it, bitch. I don't need no man. That's what I thought. And what are you? I'm a bad bitch. That's what I fucking thought. If I'm a strong, independent woman that doesn't need no man, okay? I, hate her. I just want one. I don't like her. All of these females out here talking about they're happy alone and they're happy being single. Please. They're fronting and stunting. And when they go home, they're grunting. Mad as hell. <laughs> She's got a great point, man, because then they come on here in their 40s and 50s making videos about how they all f***ed up. And some of them just hold stride and just, they just hold true. They're like, mm, -mm independent till I die. <laughs> you know, it's like, but at least we do have some women out here kind of that are on our, like if you're here, it's probably because you want a relationship, but finding a woman who actually wants one too, <laughs> who doesn't want a dude who's six foot and his dick is so big it pokes her liver and nearly puts her in the hospital and it's not even at the six feet thing no more it's like your uncle's got to be tall your whole family's got to be tall or she can't date you she's like i can't be seen with no short family <laughs> it's like it makes no sense honestly can we all oh this one's 
fucked up, okay? This one's messed up right here. I collectively agree that dads should not have an input on their daughter's bodies. Like any, please. I didn't know that had to be said, but apparently it does because there's some dads out there, mine included, because why else would we be having this conversation, <laughs> um, that just have no fucking filter when it comes to this because they think everything they say is all great and grand and glory because you know why? They're narcissists. They're narcissists. They're fucked up. All right, she's pissing me off. Um, first of all, you should thank your dad. You wouldn't exist unless he did the tango, you know, played the hokey pokey, let it all hang out with your mama. Um, and second of all, you sound as crazy as you portray your dad to sound. And I don't know what she's talking about, how dads shouldn't have an input on anything. Well, you already don't. You already don't. That's the That's the part she doesn't understand. It's classic. It's wonderful. I wonder if her dad bought that car she's in. Anyways, I just thought that was great. You leave your thoughts on that. It's like, yeah, no shit. We don't have a say. But we do have a say. We have a community here where we get together as a group. Like a family. <laughs> Good luck out there, boys. They're so fucked in the head. They should not have had children. But they Men have way too much of a rough life to have a bitch and wife. Make him that sandwich. Let him sleep in. And then wake him up with some head. And give him the back door every now and then. It's simple. So you ladies are telling me that you guys want princess treatment from your man, but you don't- Real quick, dude. <laughs> the, 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 they've gotten out of hand. No, they're great. They're nice. Give him all three of your holes. Make that make sense. Now, I'm- oh, Okay, this is, this is why I put this in here. So listen to all the stuff she's saying. She's like, she's got to really sell herself here. And you'll find out why right now. Single mom. I rarely get to go out, but when I can go out, it's usually. She's a single mom. Do you get it? Anybody get it, guys? Yeah, no shit. You better be offering the world, baby. No wonder you got your tits done. You gotta, you gotta. She's a salesman here. Two or three hours at a time before I have to go back and get my crotch goblins. Um, so it's really one of the reasons why I got this big ass Tahoe. I only have two kids, so it's not like I needed this for kids. Number one, it looks fucking badass. But number two, if I want to get jiggy with it in that two or three hours, I ain't got time to be going to someone's house, taking my sweet time there, and then going all the way back to mine. I ain't got time for that. I got time for a few drinks and some wiener. So that's why I got the. Oh, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I am literally gonna lose it. <laughs> I get comments all the time saying, God, you get triggered so easy. Look, I'm trying to have a good time here and make it fun for you. All right, there's plenty of other, you out of your chat? Yeah, I'm uh, There's plenty of other YouTube channels out here where the guy's sitting there going, sounds like a robot. And this same clip would play and they go like this, you ready? Now, men, notice how this single mother is desperate for some man to come into her life. Guys, there's plenty of those channels out there, okay? This is not that. I'm making it fun for us. But dude, it's just hilarious that she had to literally sell every hole on her body, got the fake tits, which look phenomenal, by the way. I'm not knocking them. I get it. I, I totally understand, okay? But dude, she's at the point where she's literally got to, I know it's a joke, but at the same time, it's not a joke. She's got to do everything in the book just to get a guy to stick around. Right now, she's fine. She can have sex another 10 years, but once she wants to settle down, it's gonna get a little tricky. You probably have to get your tits redone. Milk Rider 3000. Just hop up in the bat, baby. <laughs> Slut. Okay, yeah. So this one says, this comment was pretty good. Uh, so this one's from Rex. He goes, I am generally opposed to dating single mothers, but I am starting to believe it's not that bad of an idea. Yeah, there are a lot of them are desperate. I agree with you. And if you guys are looking for some action, single moms are usually they're easy. Um, we could go on dates and have bedroom fun or back of the Tahoe fun. Uh, but relationships, marriage, taking on expenses or emotional turmoil is a no. I agree with this man. Have temporary fun and experience things together, but do not commit to her. Thank you. And have others. Wait. Other W women in your life. So dating a single mom should be approached with caution and uh, commitment to her, her children. Sh wait, and commitment to her and her children should be completely avoided. Dude, you got to give one up to Big Rex Daddy here. All right. And guys, you know what? I hate condoms as much as the next guy. 
but please, man, I don't care. Saran wrap, anything. And you know what I like to do with women? I like to carry magnums on me, right? You whip out a magnum condom, and they go, uh, <laughs> this is the best thing to do to a chick every time. You whip out the magnum, they go, oh, fuck. And you go, man, relax, baby. I got to wrap my balls up, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be too careful with your dirty ass. <laughs> Shit. It's a bad joke, but it works. All these haters in the comments, these dudes, right? Like, mom, single moms are for recreational use only. You're too picky. You're going to die alone. You know, you're going to be alone forever. And, um, you know, you need to tell people you have a daughter up front and all this stuff. And I'm just like, I didn't know we knew each other. And also, you're probably not so, not so hot yourself, okay? Like okay, real quick. She's got the nose ring. I just had to point that out. Just a, just a classic sign. To watch out for but also it's not really that dating single moms is a bad thing it's not that and i pound this subject a lot because i don't like that it's normal right guys like i don't think it should be normal the baby mama culture like that should not be normal at all so that's why i'm saying and that's why i preach don't date these women go have sex with them all you want dude all right go on the back of the tile i don't care do your thing i get it but that's what a lot of the, these women don't understand. And yeah, don't go bombard their comments. Come to channels like this, Manosphere, other channels, and, and leave your thoughts there. Talk with your friends about it. But, you know, just leave these broads alone. Like, don't, don't even tell them nothing. Just keep it in our community. And the bigger the community gets, the less normal it'll be for single moms to be able to date and just get a relationship out of thin air. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, make a change. <laughs> Probably not, but it's fun to watch. All I want is to be like a hot girl on this app, but everybody on this app is hot. Why is everybody hot? Where are you all coming from? Do you know how hard I had to work? Do you know how I had to be funny? <laughs> I had to be funny that doesn't translate online. I can only be funny in Oh, God, I'm going to literally, I'm going to break something. I'm, it's going to happen. <laughs> got to be funny. Shut up. Go get your, like, funny filler. Lip filler, I don't know. Get your tits done or something. Person, too. That's the shitty thing. I can't be any. I'm sweating in this leather jacket. All right, so we got some more comments from you guys here. This one goes, I'm a 38-year-old man with a 13-year-old son. Congratulations on that. Uh, newly single after marriage of 12 years. This dating space today is tough. Oh, yeah. And the next clip I've got for you goes to show you what older men got to deal with. Uh, another guy replied to him in the comments, and he goes, I feel you. I'm 38 with a 16-year-old son. Congratulations. Um, nothing out here but overweight women, single moms. Wait. Nothing out here but overweight women and single moms. I'd rather stay single than settle for that. No way. No way I'm inviting the chaos that dating a single mother brings. And you know what? It sounds hypocritical because he's, you know, he's got a single dad. But I guarantee you, if you boys are watching this right now, you guys who left these comments, you let me know who broke off the relationship. You let me know because my money is on the woman. But yeah, but this is a perfect thing to sum up this next clip right here. As somebody who has a ton of rules when it comes to dating, I think the dumbest thing you could ever do is intentionally wait to respond to someone. First of all, be a busy person, period. Be a Okay, so this woman looks like she's definitely mid-30s, pushing 40. I don't want to insult her. Maybe she's younger. But dude, you heard what she said. She has a lot of requirements for dating and she's older and she's talking about texting as if you're like in high school or something. Um, so that's something you got to deal with. And then this next woman, Jesus, this is just sad. Did not get married? No. Why not? I wanted to be independent. So no children, no marriage. Right. Now, do you think that was a mistake in your, in your no. opinion or no? No, it was a blessing. Why is that? Because I'm just happier. I don't think it was really meant for me. I always felt healthier single i don't like codependence and i felt very unhealthy being in a relationship i felt like i wasn't being true to myself and achieving my dreams and so i i stayed on my own individual path do you ever feel lonely and be honest about that no so you've never felt lonely no not really do. the difference between alone and lonely what's the difference alone is when you're just alone but lonely is when you're missing somebody They'll make up anything, you know, and that's good. If you want to be by yourself, I get it. You got to learn how to be alone sometimes, but what's the point alone of life? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, like that saying that people always say, like the universe, we're all connected. It goes, well, we sure don't, it sure doesn't feel that way. Okay. 
And it's like, she's, it's, it's sad, man. This guy next, his next question was, um, do you think you're overweight? She said, no, I'm plus size. And no, I've really never felt lonely. No offense. <laughs> but dude, like even, even for poor people that are older, it's like, this is the dating shit. The young, younger dating is just, everyone's just having sex. Like, forget it. Um, there's still good women out here. I have a girlfriend. I had a comment saying, uh, I like that you make this content even though you have a girlfriend. It's like, yeah, I don't care how, how well my gut instinct is telling me that this one is a, a, a one percenter and she wants exactly what I want and I can trust her. I don't care. All right. I've been through it. Like, no. Nah. Uh, you always have to stay on your toes out here, whether you want a relationship or not. But anyways, you guys could also reach me on Instagram. We're going to listen to a rec uh, somebody... Stude Matchstick Johnny left a recording and his thoughts on dating single moms. So let's uh, give him a listen here. What's up, Jack? Hey, just wanted to chime in, man. Say that I'm loving all the content. I'm tuning in like every day and really enjoying all the videos. I wouldn't date any single broads out here either, man. I think he meant to say single moms because it would kind of make sense to date someone who's single. But yeah. And, uh, you know. Everyone needs some loving from time to time, but that's one thing. That's true. And, hey, keep them coming, man. Really enjoying it. I'm actually putting out a single. It's about my previous toxic relationship. It's called Surfing Dead Girl. <laughs> and uh, you can find that at my Spotify. It's Matchstick Johnny. Uh -huh. So, hey, man, throw me a follow if you want, and I'd appreciate it. And I'm tuning in. I'm liking, subscribing, loving. Speaking of liking and subscribing, guys, consider it. No pressure. I want to move too quick. But uh, thanks, thanks, Matchstick Johnny. I appreciate you, brother. And, uh, yeah, check him out on Spotify. Check out his uh, Surf and Dead Girl song. This one's, another one from, uh, this one's another one from Instagram. This one's from Aaron. He goes, my ex doing me wrong is what introduced me to the red pill. Wish I would have discovered content like yours a long time ago. But it's better to learn later than never. Keep up the grind, Jackie boy. Well, Aaron, and for you guys, too, um, I think that's how we all come to find this content. Uh, I've been through it all. A day to single mom. I've had girlfriends leave me from a best friend. I've had girlfriends cheat on me. I have been the asshole. Also, um, I've been every which way around. You know what I mean? Uh, I've, you know, I've messed up and given a woman three grand before. You think I saw that again? No, I didn't. Okay? And uh, that's how we all find this stuff. And uh, welcome to have you, brother. You, and if you guys reach out to me through Instagram, you're going to get read a lot easier than the comments because there's just there's too many of them. I do find some good ones, but there's a lot of them. It's hard for me to... If you send it to me on Instagram, you'll that for sure probably get read. Cause, unless it's just not that great. But I appreciate you anyways. God, that was fun. I am dripping. God, what's next?